coming up on 5-Minute News. Democrats change strategy on voting rights with new debates planned. Inflation at 40-year high puts pressure on the poorest. And Earth's oceans saw record warming in 2021. It's Thursday, January 13. I'm Anthony Davis. Without enough votes to change filibuster rules, Senate Democrats are pushing ahead with an alternative strategy for their sweeping voting and elections legislation. Democratic leaders have found a mechanism to enable them to bypass an initial Republican filibuster and debate the party's sweeping elections reform bills. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer outlined the plan in a memo on the eve of President Joe Biden's visit to meet privately with Senate Democrats about the path forward. It still leaves the Democrats in need of a way to force a vote on the legislation now blocked by the Republican filibuster. We will finally have an opportunity to debate voting rights legislation, something that Republicans have thus far denied, Schumer wrote in the memo to his colleagues. The strategy does little to resolve the central problem that Democrats face. They lack Republican support to pass the elections legislation on a bipartisan basis, but also don't have the support from all 50 Democrats for changing the Senate rules to allow passage on their own. But the latest tactic could create an off-ramp for their initial approach, which was to force a vote by Monday on Senate filibuster changes as a way to pressure Senators Joe Manchin of West Virginia and Kirsten Sinema of Arizona to go along. By setting up a debate, Schumer will achieve the Democrats' goal of shining a spotlight that spurs senators to say where they stand. Democrats have vowed to counteract a wave of new state laws inspired by Donald Trump's false claims of a stolen election that have made it harder to vote. U.S. inflation jumped at its fastest pace in nearly 40 years last month, a 7% spike from a year earlier that is increasing household expenses, eating into wage gains and heaping pressure on President Joe Biden and the Federal Reserve to address what has become the biggest threat to the U.S. economy. Prices rose sharply in 2021 for cars, gas, food and furniture as part of a rapid recovery from the pandemic recession. Fast infusions of government aid and ultra-low interest rates helped spur demand for goods, while vaccinations gave people confidence to dine out and travel. As Americans ramped up spending, supply chains remained squeezed by shortages of workers and raw materials, and this magnified price pressures. The Labor Department reported on Wednesday that a measure of inflation that excludes volatile food and gas prices jumped 5.5% in December, also the highest in decades. Overall inflation rose 0.5% from November, down from 0.8% the previous month. Price gains could slow further as snags in supply chains ease, but most economists say inflation won't fall back to pre-pandemic levels anytime soon. High inflation isn't only a problem for the US. In the 19 European countries that use the euro currency, inflation rose 5% in December compared with a year earlier, the biggest increase on record. Businesses struggling to hire have hiked pay, but rising prices for goods and services have eroded those income gains for many Americans. Lower income families have felt it the most, and polls show that inflation has started displacing even the coronavirus as a public concern. The United States hasn't seen anything like it since the early 1980s. On Wednesday, the president issued a statement arguing that the drop in gas prices in December and a smaller increase in food costs showed progress. Due to the relentless pace at which humans are adding greenhouse gases to the atmosphere, ocean temperatures last year were the hottest ever recorded by humans, according to a report published on Tuesday in Advances in Atmospheric Sciences. Since 1958, the researchers found the world's oceans have warmed at a steady pace, but that rate sharply accelerated in the late 80s, warming eight times as fast as in the decades prior. 
The increased concentrations of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere from human activities trap heat within the climate system and result in massive changes in the climate system, the report states. The seas that are warming fastest, the report says, are the Atlantic, Pacific and Indian Oceans. While factors such as El Niño and La Niña weather patterns continue to help determine short-term water temperature conditions, greenhouse gas emissions that trap solar radiation and warm the planet's atmosphere are the bigger factor for increasing ocean warmth. The consequences of rising ocean temperatures range from stronger tropical storms to the accelerated melting of the Earth's polar ice. On Monday, European researchers announced that 2021 was the Earth's fifth warmest year on record, with La Niña conditions helping to lower temperatures on land. Still, the pattern of global warming remains crystal clear when one considers that the last seven years represent the seven warmest years for surface temperatures on record. As for ocean warming, 2021 was the third straight year to set a record. You can subscribe to 5-Minute News on YouTube with your preferred podcast app. Ask your smart speaker or enable 5-Minute News as your Amazon Alexa flash briefing skill. Subscribe, rate and review online at 5minute.news. 5-Minute News is an evergreen podcast covering politics, inequality, health and climate. Delivering independent, unbiased and essential world news daily.